Hi, I'm Bill Myers and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to get on one Perfect Effects 10.5 for free. And like it says on the screen here, it's free for a limited time. Now before I show you where to get it free, let me show you why you may want it. So after you download the program and you start it, it's going to look like this. It's a photo editing program and you click open and you choose the photo you want to use. I'm going to choose this photo of me, so we click open and it tells us what the photo is going to be like. I'm going to edit a copy of the photo. And the file formats, I'm going to choose Photoshop and this program will work in Photoshop but it's also standalone, that's what I'm using now, the standalone version. So we click OK. So let's look at the screen layout. Over here in the left hand column we have presets. If we go through we can see there's a number of presets here. If we click presets like this one it'll show you the presets are available. If you want to see the presets in a large screen you click at the top it spreads them across the screen. Once you apply a preset you can come over to the right hand side and adjust parts of the preset. If you don't like that particular preset, you can click back to another preset. In this case, I like this photo, but I want to have more to the clouds. So I'm going to click the clouds preset, and I'm going to go to cloud contrast strong. We'll apply that preset, and this is what it looks like with the preview off. And to turn the preview on, we come down here where it says original, and just click that, and that's the preview on. So that's what it looks like with the preset on. This is what it looks like with the dial. So you can see it's a minor change, but it actually adds interest to the photo because it brings out some of the effects here. Now I can also go over to the right hand side of the screen and click add filter and there are a number of filters here. If I want to put borders I can click border and I have a number of different borders that I can use. That's just a plain border right there. There are grunge borders and destroyed borders and lots of other stuff. Now, this is a free program and it has lots and lots of features. For example, if I wanted to add HDR I could click add filter and then HDR look and then I'd have a number of options under the HDR look. I have natural, surreal, or glow. In addition to those options, I can choose the little drop down here and I'll choose blending if I want, or I can choose the range of HDR that I want. Or I can use this drop down here. I can choose uh, whether I want to apply the HDR to all or highlights or shadows. And I can also protect different areas of the screen. If I don't like the HDR look, I can just click uncheck that to turn it off and you can see the difference that's with it off and that's with it on so that brings even more clouds into the screen really easy to do if you have a filter you don't like you just click the trash can there are hundreds of presets that come with this program and additionally you can download more presets online I downloaded the clouds preset it's free and I downloaded a number of other presets once you have the image the way you want you can click file save and it'll save the image again you're never actually editing your actual images you're editing a copy of the image so this program is called On One Effects. When you download it, you'll download the standalone version as well as the Photoshop plugin. If you have Photoshop or Photoshop Elements or Lightroom on your computer, these plugins will automatically appear in those programs. So let's talk about how do we get this program. First thing you want to do is you want to go to onone.com slash promo slash 0517 effects. You'll find the link in the article below. Then scroll down the page fill out the form you'll get an email with a download link and once you download it you can install when you install you have to log into their site which is free to get the serial number once installed you start it up and you can do things like I've shown in this video anyway I thought you might be interested in knowing about this I'm Bill Myers this has been another one of my video tips of the week you can find more like this at www.bmyers.com